Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today, as by the title of this video, you can see, um, the title of this video is, I'm Katarina, and it's kind of just like a back, not really a back story, exactly. I kind of just want to explain, <coughs> you know, my, my new name, um, I got my name, my new name, my female name, from the Vampire Diaries, of course, Catherine Pierce, her original name was, um, Katarina Petrova, and she's my favorite all-time character from the Vampire Diaries, so I chose that name. Originally, I was going to one day name my daughter that, Katarina, uh, one day when I have a, um, a daughter of my own. <clears throat> However, when I had recently came out as, as transgender, I, um, I was, uh, thinking about, well, what would I want my female name to be, and Katarina just kept popping up, and so I, I've always loved the name, and so I uh, decided to keep, have Katarina as my first name, and my, my boy name is Aaron. And in memory of my mom, who passed away about, um, I think it's almost 14 years now. Um, so that's why I've chosen to take Aaron, but change it to a female spelling, E-R-I-N, as my middle name. So it'll be Katarina Aaron. So yeah, um... Yeah, I'm like in love with my name. I keep practicing writing in cursive because I'm going to have to, you know, start doing that. Um, I did curl my hair today. I curled it a little bit differently than I have the last couple days because normally I sectioned it off. And today I didn't really do that. I just like took a piece. I split my hair on both sides and then I just took a piece and curled it. And I feel like the curls didn't turn out as good as the last few days. I mean, it still looks good, but I, I feel like it's just... um. It, it doesn't have as much volume, and it doesn't look as good as the last couple days have, have actually looked. So, you know, something I will be doing differently tomorrow, and just not, not sectioning, not doing it the way I did it today. Um, I do like the curled look. I feel like it definitely looks more feminine. And um, <clears throat> now, I have not started on my hormones yet, just because, unfortunately, I can't. As much as it sucks, and I really, I really need to and want to, I'm I'm unemployed right now. I am I'm looking for work, and until I can get a job, I I can't get hormones right now. So, um, I have been looking about where to go to, for to get to get them. Um, I know that there's a transgender clinic in um, Houston, Texas. But that's like really far away from where I live. And then there's Oklahoma City, which is only about three hours away. So, I mean, it's a lot closer. So that would be a better better place. than there's transgender therapists actually in Oklahoma City. But, um, I don't know. Um, cause I, now, there are, there are different things with, with a, lot of, a lot of places. In order to get hormones, you'd end up having to get having to go through like therapy which I believe is like three sessions or something like that in, or, in order to, to, to get them because it's, they have to do a letter and then that letter is sent to the doctor you know and that's, and that's when you'll get hormones sometimes it can take months other times it's not I guess it, ju it just depends on, on the doctor and, the, and how long it takes um, and, then, and then there are places like the um, transgender Houston um, in the clinic in Houston, Texas, they do not require a therapist note or letter or anything. Uh, you can basically just go there for your doctor's appointment and just explain to your doctor, you know, that you're transgender and and they will, they will, they, you know, they'll they'll talk they'll talk with you and you know you'll get your your uh, your stuff. Um, so. I'm really anxious to start on hormones. Well, because well, it'll be estrogen, and then it'll be it'll be 
Esther, I'm gonna, probably going to go with Esther and Shots if they give me the option because there are there are several different things because there's pills, there's shots, there's patches, there's gels. So you yeah, you pretty much have like four different options. I just prefer doing the shots. My only problem is I can't swallow pills, and so the testosterone blockers that I would be needing are are like giant white circular pills, and that's 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 a problem for me because I I can't swallow pills. So that's going to be difficult for me. So I, I don't know. I'm going to see if they have it in like a shot, just like estrogen. But if not, then I don't know. I guess I'll have to, I'll have to like force it down my throat or something. <clears throat> I used to I used to be able to swallow pills pretty easily, but I would have to do it with soda because of the carbonation. I see. Because my main issue is when I stick it, when I stick the pill in the back of my throat, I can feel it in my mouth. I can feel it on my tongue. And it is so hard to swallow it because it feels like when I'm taking a sip of something, that pill will just stay stay on my throat. It won't it won't it won't move. It won't move with the water. It just seems it just feels like it just sits there. And I don't know. I, I mean I used to be able to again with soda I used to be able to take pills, you know, effortlessly. <clears throat> I do have a pretty bad gag reflex. Now, um I have sometimes been able to take it with food, but not always. I mean, I do think it is kind of like a mental block or something, because I, I mean, I've been, I mean, I can take a, I can swallow this, uh, like a giant chunk of like, like of a bite of a sandwich and swallow the whole giant big thing all the way down, but yet this tiny little pill that's like the size, that's smaller than a quarter, and it just, I, no, it just won't, it just won't. I don't know. Um, my my roommate suggested I should you know practice by like swallowing like small like really really small pills and <clears throat> work my way up and and this is something I am working on. But well, I wanted to give you guys this little update and just kind of explain my name and and things like that and what I'm going to be doing. I'm hoping to start on hormones by the end of the month. But I don't know, because right now I am out, I'm out of a job. Um, I, I really didn't want to be on hormones by the end of this month, but I just don't know if it's going to happen or not. Um, I might end it, it might just, it might, I might have to wait another month, and I may not be able to start it until sometime in, um, in May. So, <clears throat> it's really disappointing, but some things are more important. I'm also going to be potentially moving soon, so there is that to factor in. So, <clears throat> also, um, I do want to uh, get some hair extensions, maybe in a couple months. Um, <clears throat> I'm also going to have to be saving as much money as possible because the surgeries that <clears throat> I'm going to end up getting done are really expensive. Um, there is a hospital in Thailand that I'm probably going to go to for the majority of my surgeries. Um, the breast augmentation and the F my FFS surgery, I'll be getting those both done in Thailand just because price. They're a lot cheaper in, in Thailand. It's a, it's a hospital that is well known in the trans community. I don't remember the, the name of it. If I do remember, I'll leave it down in the, subs in the subscription, subscription, description, sorry. Um, a lot. It's it's well known in the trans community. Not to mention, a breast augmentation surgery in the United States can be like ten ten grand. Whereas if I get it done in Thailand in this Thailand hospital, it's only gonna be like a little over four grand. So yeah, it's like six grand cheaper. And I've actually look at looked at other trans women on on YouTube, and they got it done in that hospital, and and their breast. Their breast augmentation looks amazing. Um, I, I do want I, I do want big breasts, but not but not like huge. Not I'm not no double D's. I mean or nothing like that. But I'm probably gonna end up going with um, about anywhere from 32C to a 38C. We'll see. I just uh, I've been looking online, looking at pictures to see what what size I actually like, and then of course. Going to actually talk to my doctor because he's because my, I won't have the, I won't be having my breast augmentation done for at least at least two years 
because while in hormones, I have to wait till my till my breasts grow naturally and at least grow to as full as it's going to. Now, breasts can take on hormones can take up to ten years to fully develop. I'm not going to wait ten years before before I ha have surgery on it. <clears throat> the one surgery that I am <coughs> worry about price wise because it is most expensive is of course the sex reassignment surgery or the bottom surgery or the genital reassignment surgery whatever you want to call it um, several names of surgery though it is the most expensive one I've heard that it can cost at a minimum of 10 grand to a maximum of 25 grand and that would that would take me so long to save up that much money because <clears throat> if I save, if I, because if I manage to save five hundred dollars every month for three years, that's about eighteen grand. So in order to save up like twenty five grand, I'd probably end up having to save money for like five years. Now, five or years more or less because of my tax returns. So yeah, every year I get my taxes back, that whatever money I get, which usually about 1400 on average, that's how much I usually get back in taxes every year, more or less. Because I, because yearly I make roughly 18 to 19 grand, depending. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, about 1400 back, even if I, and, and then of course, over the course of those three years, if I put that 1400 also in savings, of course I'll end up having a little more. But <clears throat> I have already said, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hold on just a second. <clears throat> sorry about that. I don't know what's going on in my throat. I'm getting over this. But um, <clears throat> the first surgery I will, in fact, be getting done is my FFS surgery on my face. Um, now, according to one of my friends, my face does kind of have a feminine look to it. Now, um, of course, I'm overweight, which really doesn't help look at the full scale of my face because, you know, my some of my face is kind of fat because of my weight. I weigh 230 pounds. <clears throat> I have been... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Now, I have been... Um, focusing on losing weight because I was at 230 and then I gained eight pounds back by because I was eating unhealthy and then I was and then uh, recently about a week two weeks ago I got sick and so I was starting to lose weight and I uh, was um, not eating very much and I've basically adapted that and I've just continued it I mean I'm not sick anymore I still have like somewhat of a sore throat and I'm kind of in this whatever my throat's doing, but, um, like, for example, today, I mean, of course, it is 11.34 at night, and, uh, the only thing I've eaten today, I had, I had two sandwiches, a small salad, and this, I had this so delicious dairy-free coconut milk yogurt alternative yogurt, and it's vanilla, and this was, like, really good, taste, it tastes, it tastes like yogurt, um, I really like it. Um, so yeah, honestly, I would probably say I've only eaten maybe 700 calories today. Um, with it being as late as it is, I thought I'm I probably not going to eat anything else today. Um, so I'm really, I, I'm really dead set about losing this weight because uh, I need because my goal weight is 130 pounds so basically I need to drop 100 pounds oh um I know I mentioned it but I think I, I got distracted but yeah I did gain the eight pounds however as of right now I have lost six of those pounds so as of right now I'm 232 I did weigh myself this morning I didn't lose any but I didn't gain any so I mean that is one good thing my body does actually a really good job at maintaining weight, especially because I because I know that I weighed like 220 pounds for like five or six years, and my my weight didn't go it didn't go up, and of course it didn't go down. Of course, 
like last year is when my weight changed. I was gaining a little bit more weight based because I, I, I wasn't I wasn't on a diet. I wasn't eating healthy. I was eating all these kinds of uh, unhealthy things. And, you know, coming out as trans really showed me that, I mean, because you, because you don't want any, any unnecessary risks or surgery and me being overweight would be a, un, a would be a, uh, it, it would be a risk. Um, I mean, there's already on, there's a risk that you can't do anything about when it comes to surgery, but my weight is something that I can in fact control. So of course, the Senate, but since I won't have having any surgeries for the next couple, for the next two to three years, that gives me that time period to lose this weight. So uh, it gives me at least three years to lose this hundred pounds, and so far I'm doing quite well. Um, <clears throat> I haven't really eaten a whole lot today, um, and I have been doing some walking today, not a whole lot. Um, I was doing some stomach exercises earlier by sucking in my, my stomach for um, five minutes, and then later on in the day I sucked it again for another five minutes. Um, I don't have a waist trainer. That is something that I am I am wanting to get, and um, when I do get it, I'm also I'm also probably going to be getting a like a corset to, to train my stomach because that will because a lot of my weight is focused in my stomach. Um, now, I mean, when you look at me, you can tell that a lot of my weight is in, you know, my chest, and my stomach. My legs aren't really all that big. I do have kind of big calves, and my upper thighs are kind of big. But, um, it's just something that uh, exercise will help me with. And I'll just try to, like, like I said, it gives me three years to lose the 100 pounds that I want to lose to get to the ideal weight that I want. A lot of the YouTube, a lot of the trans women I see on YouTube, they're all, they're all really skinny. I don't, I don't, I haven't, so far I haven't found any that are actually overweight to see. Now I have looked up being overweight when it comes to hormones. There, as far as I have read, there's, there's no, um. There's no side effects to being overweight when you start on hormones, so that's not something I have to worry about. Um, so yeah. Um, also, I spent the last couple of days watching the um, I Am Kate, which is Kate Je Kate Jenner's um, documentary miniseries type thing. Um, of course, E canceled it after two seasons which I was really disappointed about because I watched the two I watched I, I watched two seasons and I loved it I loved it um, oh sorry about that I have my window open it's like really hot in here and I don't want to turn the air on so I have my window open sorry that's loud people driving but um yeah um, my hair is growing it is it's getting longer um, that's also why I'm kind of wanting to get some hair extensions. I do want my hair to be more blonde, but unfortunately, that's just gonna have to take time. I don't want. I know I'm not going to overly bleach my hair and fry it like last time. Of course, this time is different because I'm getting it done in the salon compared to cheap box dyes. Because I used to splat boxes, and I dyed my hair three times in like the period of like two months. And that's what destroyed my hair. My hair had been in a process because I've had this blonde hair. In a way, I've had I because I when I I first dyed it. Uh, well, seven months ago. Yeah, seven months because it was the first one, and then I waited three months, and I dyed it again. Has it really been that long? No. But yeah. Because I dyed it, I dyed it at the end of December. Yeah, it was at the end of December when I first dyed it, and then I dyed it again at the end of February. So it's been, it's going on. It's been almost two months since I dyed it the last time. I when I, I decided that if I was going to get my hair done, which of course it, I also it it cost one hundred and twenty dollars to get it done at the, at my uh, salon that we have here, um, and of course. My idea was to always do it in three months. I would dye my hair and then wait three months 
and then get it re-dyed just because that gives my hair about three months because I've got repair shampoo, conditioner, and my leave-in conditioner all is also repairing. So any damage that my hair actually does get from the, from that from from bleaching it gets repaired in those three months. So my hair my hair is healthy right now. I mean it's like really healthy, and especially since I have been showering every single day instead of every other day. <clears throat> Um, I've noticed that my hair is a lot healthier. Um, of course, it's a lot cleaner because I shower every day, um, and it just—it's just healthier. It's cleaner. I—it's—I mean, it's—it's it's, my hair is like stronger. I'm even noticing less. Um, my hair—it's not as—I um, don't have any loose strands that just come out when I touch my hair, which I used to get sometimes. Of course. Um, Get off camera, I'm not sorry. The only thing I do notice is that, well, I've been using a lot of heat on my hair lately because I've been curling it every day. Because before, you know, when I actually had a job, I, I never touched my hair. Um, I usually just went to work. I immediately, because, you know, I was a boy, so I always had to up having to put my hair up. And also, when it comes to my name, because it's it is what the title of this video is, and I kind of um, didn't really talk about a whole lot. Um, I will be getting my name legally changed probably by the end of these by the end of the year. I wanted to wait until I kind until I've been on hormones enough to where I look I look like androgynous, because as of right now I don't I don't have breasts yet, and as far as I can tell, um. Uh, the consensus online is uh, by with being on hormones for th uh, for three months I would have a full A cup so you know and the fat just distribution would make my form look more womanly um, so yeah, I'm gonna wait until the end of the year to get my name changed just because um, I still look like a man <laughs> sort of <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I do have, I can do my hair and makeup and do my nails and wear, wear heels, which I love, and wear um, female clothes, but still looks, and, which is another reason why I'm anxious to get on hormones and to get my first surgery out of the way, which is my FFS, which will make me look more feminine in my face, which is something I'm really kind of self-conscious about. Because I think it's because I, I look I look in the mirror every day and that's always what I see. Um, I do have somewhat of a feminine face, so and of course my hair helps with that too. Long hair makes me look more feminine, and it's also the reason why I don't really like putting my hair back. Because when it's back, I feel like my face looks more masculine, and um, I don't I don't like that. Um. So yeah. Um. That's kind of just where I am right now. Um, I did call my dad yesterday. He is kind of still in shock over me coming out to him. Um, it's just, uh, he's going to need to take time. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be going through my transition just like my family's transitioning in a way of kind of just getting used to the, my new reality. Um, um, so, yeah, I've been kind of focusing a lot on YouTube, watching other trans, just, um, just seeing how everything is, and I really do like Katerina because, um, you know, when I, I envision Katerina in my head, and who, who she's been my whole life, I mean, um, I've always been Katerina inside, and she may even just not have had a name, but I do envision her one day, and, um, <clears throat> I envision her, her with long blonde hair and having um, breasts and having a vagina and 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 looking fully woman and looking um, beautiful and strong and fearless and I just want I just want what I what I what I am inside to match my outsides, and as of right now, my outsides don't match my insides, and 
unfortunately that's gonna take it's gonna take years unfortunately before that um, mostly because mostly because breath uh, breath augmentation um, you have to wait till your till my till the breaths at least develop enough that's why that's why I'm waiting at least that's why I would wait to get my breast augmentation. I will be waiting for at least at least two years, maybe even one year, maybe it, maybe even one year, depending on how much growth I will actually have by by that one year period. So, um, yeah, um, please comment, like, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be downloading a app, which is uh, called Ava, and it is it's it is it was created for trans women to focus on their voices, to get a higher pitch in their voice. Um, to me, anyway, my voice sounds kind of like a mixture between feminine and masculine. Um, to me, I feel like my voice is more masculine than feminine. It seems very deep to me. Not very, very deep, but not um, not really high either. I, I've tried practicing like a higher pitch, and it sounds so fake to me when I try that. Like doing, like how you like doing this and talking like this, and it just seems so fake talking like that. And I just, I just can't. Um, it, oh, sorry, but it, it just sounds so fake to me. Doing that voice, putting it up there. Of course, there is surgery I could get done, but um, that costs money. And so I'm tr I'm really going to be trying um, if I can if I can do th therapy on my voice and practice at it uh, you know that it'll be better just less surgery but I mean I even look at Caitlyn Jenner I mean she she hasn't done any therapy I mean her voice is something that um, that she really struggles with because you know her voice doesn't match the rest of her. She also have not. She also has not had sex sex reassignment surgery either. Um, I mean, no one, I know in her show she talks a lot about she talks about it, and she's just unsure if she wants it, if she wants that, because not not all trans women do get the surgery. And considering how expensive it is, not all women can afford it. Some there are some women that that have been trans their whole lives and still can't afford it because I mean it is really expensive but that's also I do a doctor Marcy Bauer she's like she's done that surgery thousands of times with trans women I mean she herself is a trans woman and so I've seen her do it so many times I mean and I've seen her I mean but uh, she's done it for so many she, she did it with that, that supermodel um, Isis um, that was on um, Americans America's Next Top Model, um, so yeah, um, um, I'm, on a side note, I am expected to get the, my, my makeup brushes on the 4th, which, um, I believe is Tuesday, so yeah, I should get it Tuesday, I'm hoping to get it sooner, um, but, um, it was supposed to get here the 3rd, but apparently some bridge collapsed and it, and it delayed it a day, but I'm looking forward to getting it. I'm sorry, this is a long video, you guys. Um, but um, I I won't be rec I won't be um, doing any other videos until those brushes come in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys all later. Bye.